going, everybody? Um, welcome back to the show. Today is a good day. I feel good today. I don't know why. But uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And today is a good episode. Today we're going to be talking about um, Sonic, which is something that I was really intrigued by. The next thing we're going to talk about is Markiplier and uh, so on and so forth. So let's get started. Let's get started. Please, let's talk about Sonic. All right, so the new Sonic came, movie came out. They released it earlier this year, but it looked more human than it actually did uh, like it did in the cartoons and in the video games. Here's what it looked like before. Here's what it looked like after. They just released the movie. And the main um, villain is played by Jim Carrey, yada, yada, yada. What do I have to say about the new design? New design on, honestly looks really nice. It does. It looks more video game-esque. It looks like the cartoons. The shape of the snout is much more um, subtle. Because Sonic's snout it doesn't stick out like it did in the human version. and uh, <clears throat> Or excuse me, in the old version. But in the new one, his eyes are bigger. The snout is smaller. The teeth are less human-like. That was a huge thing that people thought was really wrong with this. Is the teeth were so big. And they, he, it literally looked like he had veneers. Sonic has veneers, everybody. Sonic has veneers. But um, anyway, essentially they fixed the whole thing and now the movie's going to come out and everything's going to be fine. I just want to understand how far-fetched the old designers could be with reality uh, to the point where they gave Sonic veneers. Nobody looked at this design firsthand, and then all you have to do is just look up Sonic on Google, and then mimic that. Who decided to add veneers, and that whole team was just like, you know what? I bet you a million bucks everybody on this planet would love Sonic with human veneers. There's no doubt. I just know it. Um, huge fail, but they came back, they redeemed themselves, and I'm intrigued to see this movie. I will go see this movie, by the way. I will. Um... In other news, it's cold today. <laughs> it's so cold today. I'm going to go watch The Irishman uh, in about a few hours with uh, Sebastian Maniscalco, Ray Romano, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. You know, honestly, movies like that, I have to say, they're really good. But the thing that I dislike the most out of those kinds of movies is that I feel like they're pushing the old school mafia-esque characteristics to the point where we kind of have seen it all. I know it's based on a true story, but I don't know, man. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino playing a mob, playing in a mob movie. Like, come on, man. I love those two guys. Uh, it's just uh, the older they get, the more repetitive the movies seem to get. You know, it's like it's like the Rocky franchise when Sylvester Stallone constantly played Rocky, kind of that underdog old wise guy and you know he just keeps coming out with movies like that to the point where it's like you know we we kind of need something new or hang up the towel however i am intrigued to see this it's about the irish mob which is something that i never knew existed until the trailer but uh i'm i'm excited to see what this is going to have in store for us so and lastly markiplier Markiplier, the uh, famous YouTuber with over 20 million subs, mainly does video game play and, you know, part of the whole Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, you know, all of these gamers, he was kind of, he was kind of brought up with them at the exact same time. They all blew up. Uh, they all got huge. Sure, they don't have 100 million subscribers like PewDiePie, but 25 million is enough to sustain a very healthy living, okay? I have 128 subs. I'm sustaining a healthy living here, okay? Thank you. Essentially, Markiplier, uh, all of his fans, while he was doing a live stream, were getting banned for, quote, inappropriate comments when they weren't. They were just posting, like, little emojis and stuff, and their whole Google account got banned. Not their YouTube channel, their Google account. People have businesses on these Google accounts. People have important emails that they have received and send out every day that have just gotten completely destroyed. Um... And Markiplier was very upset with that, and he complained to YouTube. And what I have to say is, honestly, YouTube upsets me. It does. And the reason why it upsets me is because it's become so corporate that um, the fear and anxiety inside of the team, inside of the corporate team, has built up so much to the point where they really don't know what's right and what's wrong. They're so fearful 
uh, now to lose money in sponsorships, uh, the corporate world, that they really don't know what to do anymore. So right now, instead of it's like you get bullied by like 20 kids all your life. And now you think everybody you see is a bully. So now you treat everybody just like you did the bullies. You have to separate the good from the bad. And so YouTube has to separate the bullies from the nice people. Um, emoji comments in the comment section aren't the same as terrorist videos on YouTube. They're not. And you can't treat them equally the same. And, uh, you know, I, I get YouTube's, you know, robotic kind of auto uh, system that they have where it just picks anything it wants and takes it out. It's obviously not people doing this um, because YouTube is so big, just like Markiplier, Markiplier stated. However, he did state one thing that was real interesting. People are not even getting their appeals. People are literally getting denied re appeals, and these appeals are being looked at by actual humans. So the fact that humans are looking at these people and people are telling them, hey, man, all I did was put an emoji. Like, why are you taking my channel off? And the human person that looks at this appeal and says, huh, you know what? This person really did put a bunch of red emojis, but I'm going to deny the appeal. The fact that they're even doing that is crazy to me. Like, that is inexcusable. The bot, I get it, you know, whatever. But the fact that there's actual people denying appeals when other people are literally telling them, hey, man, all I'm doing is putting an emoji. Why are you banning my whole Google account? That's absurd. And YouTube has completely gone a fearful route. They are scared, scared, scared of losing any money. And that is... uh that's bad. But um, anyway, I still think YouTube is huge. I still think YouTube is popular. And I still think you can make a living off of YouTube. And that's my dream is to make a living off of this channel. So, you know, yeah, I'll work a corporate nine to five, but I still want to make a living off this channel. So like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys like the episode. And please make sure to subscribe. I'm not, even, I'm not kidding. All right. Subscribe and support me. If you don't support me, I'm going to get really sad. I'm sad right now because you're not supporting me. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.